Okay. Uh, 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 you must be so embarrassed. <laughs> I have never felt this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I have famously huge turds. Now, I don't really know how we got here, but apparently Dave Bautista has a big problem with me uh, pointing out just a tiny error in some of his previous logic. Now, I don't have anything personally against Dave Bautista. He is a mountain of a man who would surely squash me beneath his roid-fueled foot. But he also is one of the most afflicted TDS sufferers I've ever seen in my life. Certainly one of the most heavily affected in Hollywood, constantly spending his days on Twitter, retweeting morons like Brooklyn Dad, who is actually just a paid plant. Now, I don't care that the guy supports Joe Biden. He is a Hollywood uh, person and therefore has literally no choice in who he supports. That's Maybe not the way it always was, but it's the way it is now, which is why I don't really care much for what Hollywood morons have to say. And I usually stick to books, books written by viewers like this one. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Emblem Unity. Now, you know, I love to work with independent authors and from now and again, I get to promote a book. These days, stories that make it to the screen all have to go through the same executives that like to take out the spirit and replace it with the same dull wokeness that we seem to see in every movie or TV show. But books, they don't have to jump through those very same hoops. And independent authors can still put out solid stories for you to read. The book I'd recommend today is Emblem, Unity, a modern fantasy where a boy named Cyrus Ward is suddenly bonded to a strange creature called the Synthier. Before he can figure out what's happened, he's transported to a world without metal, accused of attempted assassination, and dragged into a brutal tournament that will decide his fate. Emblem Unity. There exists a powerful reality outside of our own. If you're looking for something fun to read this month, it's a quick read, it's interesting, it's unique, and it's a break from everything you're used to. So pick up Emblem Unity, link in the description below, another fine author that watches the channel so we can support each other and be entertained. Now, last night, I admit, I didn't see the date. I thought it said October 15th, 2021. So I am guilty of necroing a tweet here, but my point still stands. While uh, shilling for President Papa Joe Biden, he writes, my fellow Pew Pew owners, Joe Biden is super pro 2A. He wants reform, a ban on assault rifles. What exactly are those again? Can we, can, this is, this is a term. I mean, they already are banned. Um, this is again, the people that want the most reform, which means control. The people that want the most control understand the least about the topic. Now I understand that you know, a lot of my viewers aren't even from the United States and the idea of, you know, the Second Amendment is foreign to them, literally. Um, but here in America, it is in our DNA. Um, shall not be infringed. Meaning, and I take that, by the way, literally. Not, let's infringe it a little bit. Not, but my muskets and it's my 2021. Shall not be infringed. Pretty simple. There are few rules in this country and they shall not be infringed. He writes out that he wants them banned and a voluntary buyback. This is fair. This will save lives. I don't need to overcompensate with an AR-15. That, that he's, he thinks AR stands for assault rifle. That's what he thinks. It's very clear. Um, your right to bear arms is safe with Biden Harris 2020. Now I should have, again, I shouldn't have necroed this. I didn't, I thought it was 2021, especially since there was an article about it. Um, but all I did was use the red flag meme that is available on Twitter. And within 
eight minutes of this tweet. By the way, this tweet was sent. I don't know if I, if it says what time it was sent. 1030 at night. Okay. Within eight minutes, he had blocked me. Dave Bautista is 10 ply soft. This is a man that uh, calls people like Ben Shapiro a little B. I don't have any stake in the Shapiro game. I know many of my viewers watch his content. I, I, you know, I, I, nothing. I think Ben Shapiro is right about some things, and he think I think he's incorrect about others, just like most content creators. Um, but this was, you know, I don't know how he was like sitting on his phone waiting for a retweet. And I wasn't even mean. I just say, hey, this is a red flag. You know, anybody talking about reform is is not really an honest actor, in my opinion. Um, you can see you don't need to compensate with AR because you travel with armed security. I'll keep my weapon, thanks. Uh, you could see a number of people absolutely ratioing him into oblivion, including Sticks Hexenhammer and all sorts of stuff like that. It's laughable. Like when you're in the United States, shall not be infringed. Let's not even go down the road. Um, and I, I don't really know how we got here, but there was a new article yesterday. This was October 18th. Hollywood shill Dave Bautista gets lesson in big government. Like, I don't know what kind of Dave guy Dave Bautista is in real life. People say he cheated on his wife when she had cancer. If that's true, that's pretty crummy. But he also, I don't know, saved a dog. So that's a good thing, I suppose. Um, I, I don't know. Um, but he sure seems soft. Leave it to Hollywood, a Hollywood leftist, to unwittingly broadcast his stupidity to the entire world without realizing it. Pre please direct your attention to Dave Bautista. I wouldn't consider myself a Bautista fan. I mean, he plays in Guardians of the Galaxy. I think he does a decent job there. Wouldn't exactly call that Academy Award winning acting, but he fills the role just fine. Davey is a left wing nut job. And also, most like all, uh, all, and also like most Hollywood clowns, he believes everyone wants to know exactly what he thinks about everything. Pause for a moment. If you do care what celebrities think, think you're doing it wrong. Unpause. By the way, if you haven't left a like on this video and you haven't clicked that red subscribe button down below, please consider doing so now. While I continue, this is via Joseph Gunderson over on Louder with Crowder. So not that long ago, Davey decided to post to take to take the garbage world that is Twitter to voices a support for the abridgment of your constitutionally protected right to bear arms. We already know the tweet. Okay, I laughed nearly all the way through the tweet, forgetting that all things both factually and grammatically, it's bear arms, B-E-A-R, uh, wrong in the same. One can summarize one easy to explain notion. Bautista likes the idea of government control. Well, he did like it. Fast forward to the present as David takes to social media once more to explain to us his woes as he runs face first into the brick wall known as government bureaucracy. I have a riddle. It's a mystery. I need help with it. I can't figure it out. How many bureaucrats does it take to grant an awful citizen of Tampa like myself power? I'm dealing with people who have meetings to set other meetings. I'm dealing with people who give me a list of stuff to do just so I can take it to them and they give me another stuff to do. Well, that's what happens when you're a big fan of government. I don't really talk about my personal politics that often on this channel, or at least I don't like not in any specificity, I don't believe. But, you know, if there's one thing you want to know about where I land on things, it isn't necessarily who's running for president. It's for the smallest government possible. I don't want them involved in anybody's lives any more than the absolute bare minimum. The article continues. A few things I don't doubt that Davey can't figure this out, but it's all but come out explicitly to say he's an idiot. Second, I agree that he is an awful person. And lastly, welcome to the world of intrusive government, intrusive government bureaucracy, you dolt. So to review, Davey's okay with government control when it doesn't affect him, but gets super duper mad and throws a fit when it does. And the best part is he doesn't even recognize his own inconsistency. He probably never will. That's why these idiots don't get paid to think. They get paid to dress up and memorize stuff other people have written, and most of it sucks anyway. Um, yeah, he's probably not incorrect. Um, you know, what's, what's funny is, you know, here uh, he gets a lesson in big government, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I, I think it's pretty weak uh, for old Dave Bautista to be constantly injecting himself into politics. He clearly understands very little about. 
which is why I generally try to avoid a specific political take too, because it takes a lot of research. I think that this is just another perfect example of the situation where you get a bunch of followers on social media uh, for one thing, for example, acting. And for whatever reason, you think that it's because they want to hear your personal political opinions. I don't care what Dave Bautista thinks about politics. I don't find him particularly educated. But what I do know is, based on him forcing his ill-advised opinions, I know that I don't want to pay to see his next movie. So why not just, you know, shut up and dribble, dribble, Dave, or get educated and get into politics if that's what you want. But uh, yeah, sorry I offended your delicate sensibilities with a single retweet, Dave, but um, you're vaxxed AF. Team Pfizer. Poor kid chasing dreams. Poor kid. Huh? Hmm, let's just look. Uh, let's see. These are not super accurate, but uh, according to Forbes, he has a net worth of $16 million. $16 million. So he isn't really a poor kid. And I thought it was funny too, Lauren Chen pointing out, he's Team Pfizer, uh, but then also he's retweeting anti... So I guess you have a love-hate relationship with Big Pharma. Look, get your poke. I don't care or don't, but this level of, of cultism is just cringe. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.